Hi guys. These are dogs. <laughs> These are dogs. Do you know so many times they've been in the studio and they've been chilling there and we haven't showed them to you? Yeah, they're like under the desk. Sisters in the home. Sisters in the home. Sisters in the home. <laughs> um, we decided we're gonna get onto this YouTube thing and start doing vlogs, recording. We've got so much to show you guys. So much. Look at all this <laughs> to show you. We've literally just come back from recording an episode. Yeah, I know, we were gonna change. That's Instead. how hard working we are. I know, we didn't change, Anna. We're literally That's wearing fine. what we're wearing. This is my room, guys. Yeah, this is Mandy's bedroom with ginger beard. Mandy, which side of the bed's your side of the bed? Uh, this is my side of the bed. And this is, because I like to go to the toilet a few times every night. This side is where he farts all night. Ugh. Uh, TV. It's a big ass TV, and they've got a little ensuite there. Yeah. Which yeah. I hate this about Mandy's toilet. She always, always leaves the the window open over there. So it's like so cold when I go sit on that toilet seat, it's freezing. Yeah, because like after showers, right? After showers. No, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Okay. It well, anyway, today we thought we'd show you guys our makeup removing routine, like our nighttime. Not nighttime, just our makeup removing skincare routine. Yeah, but Anna, how are we gonna do this? We have to sit on the bed and I need to get a tripod. Why? Because where are we gonna sit? We get another chair and we sit right here and we do it. You, you want me to go all the way upstairs and bring a chair from the dining room? Yeah. That is long, Anna. I think it's only right. It's your place. You're the host. I don't wanna do it. You're the host. Mm. <laughs> Why don't we just do it standing up? Here we are at the worst part of being a woman. Oi, I dread wiping my makeup off. I think I don't want to do my makeup most of the time. It's because of wiping it off though. Do you know the worst thing is, you know when you're in the, um, drunk on the way home in the cab and you're just thinking about, okay, gotta go home, wipe my makeup off, da -da -da, get into bed. It's like the steps are there and you yeah. just dread it. I hate it. Most of the time I literally like, if it's a small errand I need to run, I'm like, fuck with makeup, makeup on because I just don't want to wipe it off. Like I hate it it's that much. Weird. As we got older, we like prefer to not have makeup on. Yeah, and you know Gingerbread, as soon as I get home, he's like, wipe your, you know, literally before we start this vlog, Anna. He's like, wipe off your makeup now. Really? I don't like that ugly. We're like, with makeup on or something. No, yeah, I think guys just hate it. So Kazakh is the same. He, they just hate makeup because it goes on their clothes, it goes on their face. It goes everywhere. Like, huh? They're not used to it. But I think as you get older as well, you have less patience. It's really weird. I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but I have like less patience with everything. I have less patience with jewelry, accessories like anything that gets in the way of my comfort yeah so like, i just always want to be comfortable when i was younger someone like an older auntie said to me when you get older you're going to prefer less makeup and i was like no way at this point my eyes were like literally pandas that's how they, how much makeup i used to wear and it's so true because now i kind of want to find ways of to being more naturally beautiful better skin and just yeah not having to i just hate it Okay, so we're gonna go through the rough skincare routine we do. Um, some products that I use might be different to what Mandy used, but they're mostly the same. Yeah. If I'm really, really feeling lazy and tired, I just get straight into the shower, yeah, with my makeup on. Do you? Yeah, well, I'll rough kind of, because eye makeup, no, I need to kind of put, well, I've done that before, it's horrible. You have to wash your face like a million times. Yeah, but it's just so much easier than cut and pad. <laughs> I can do the eye makeup like myself quickly, roughly, and then I get into the shower. But you know what? I've tried everything, guys. I even tried those like balms. You know the makeup removal balms, like the Elemis one. It's just so messy. Like it gets so messy. You know, you put it on, you like rub your face. Mm. I've tried that as well. I need something that's. Do like... you know what I used once? I had a sample on. It was really good. I need to go buy it. It was like I think it was called Kate Somerville, and it's a cleansing wash, makeup removal wash. So you just wash your face with it and it removes everything. I need a good wash. I just feel like that's not, it doesn't fully, fully remove it. I need to wipe no, it and then wash it. but you don't come out after you've washed it and then tone on your face. Yeah, I don't tone. I do. Okay, anyway, should we start? Because we can talk as we do this. Yeah. That's the whole point. We are really bad at multitask. I'm terrible at multitasking. Are you? Yeah. So too. you know other YouTubers, like, they'll put their makeup on and talk, or they'll do it and they'll talk. That's what we need to do. <laughs> All right, guys, let's start our wiping our makeup so off. So, always start with the eyes. Begin with the eyes. So, you know, years ago, we did a... When we first started YouTube, and we were really excited, we did a nighttime skincare routine. Yeah, I remember. I think it was like two... More than two, three years ago. Yeah. Maybe even more than three years ago. Anyway, we did it with cotton pads, Maddie, and we had comments about it. Apparently, it's really bad. For the environment. It's getting to the point like everything's bad for the environment. Like, I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, everything. What is the other... 
um, alternative. Reusable. Though. You have to wash them in the washing machine. To be honest, I could do that. The amount of washing I do in this house, <laughs> probably could um, do that. Wash it reusable. Bags. I'm gonna do that, you know. Maybe we should think about that. You need to start with recycling. That's yeah. what you need to do. If you guys have any good recommendations on recyclable pads, let us know. They're everywhere now, on Amazon and stuff. A good one. Yeah. Anyway, do you want to tell them what you use for your eyes? We've been using the same thing yet. Even if you look back on our YouTube video from three years ago, we use this, probably use this. Did we use the same thing? I'm sure. Yeah. I think we've I think been using so. this for like five years. The Nivea Double Effect Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover is the best eye makeup remover. Yeah, and I it? love it. Yeah, it's so good. So yeah, that's we've literally been using this for years. I'll put I have thing. to use something oil-based. Oh my God, I'm trying to take my lash off and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so... It's honestly so much easier to move your eye makeup with a good eye makeup remover. Some of them are so shit, you just, they're rubbing away. So Mandy said, like, when you remove your... Here it is in my hair. My lash. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm all like ripping my own lashes I off. hate that when you lose a lash and it's like, you look everywhere and it's like in yeah. the most obvious place. I usually lose it before I start doing my makeup. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying... You always tell me, you always have a go at me for wiping my eyes like that. I'm being really gentle right now. You're like, every time I wipe my eye makeup, she's like, don't do it like that. You're going to get wrinkled. You should really press and dab. That's what you tell me. Yeah. So I always hear your voice in my ears whenever I wipe my eyes. Yeah. In like when I'm at home. You can rub it, but gently rub it. I've seen you rub, rub it, yeah. And it's like this. Yeah. Like, no, you don't want to be too gentle <laughs> with your eyes. The skin around your eyes is the most, my God, look at the difference. I've got bad pigmentation, y'all. Like, bad around my eyes. What is your problem? Stop it. It's going to go on my bloody bed sheets. Oh, don't. No, we, we no, don't. Anna, know. she is the clumsiest person yeah. in the world, yeah? Like, I don't think you understand. Like, if, you, if you want an accident to happen, call Anna. She'll start accident service. Do you know what I realised since doing the podcast? It's a great way to analyse my face and think, like, what is going wrong with my makeup, my hair, and stuff like that. Anyway, when I started the wake up, I realised my hair was really, really blonde and it suit me. Yeah. It kind of told me that. And I'm really glad I went this, like, golden brown colour. I'm going to start wiping half my face off. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to do the same. Guys, okay. look, at the, look at how bad my dark circles are. I put concealer on my eyelid and my under eyes. Do you have a hand mirror, Mandy? But recently, yeah. I feel like I can't see what the... Bloody I hell. don't have a hand mirror. I had a hand mirror and I broke it. And that's the thing I've had bad luck since then, sweetheart. Oh, mm. I've got the best phone case ever. Really? Yeah, Cassitify. Because I, I don't know why you don't order things for me when you order it for yourself. It's that, I don't know, I gift, I've got it gifted. Message them, they'll gift you. I can't be it's, fucked. It's honestly, I had this, this case for like six months and then I messaged them for a new one because it's the best. When I, had, I, when I didn't have it, I realised how much I use it. It's got a mirror on the back and every time on a night out, if I'm out, whatever, I just use it. Like, look now. I'm using I always it. open my camera. It's cameras. so useful. I always open my camera and then it makes me look so buttered. It's not it the ruins same. my night. It's yeah. not the same. The camera is a mirror. Oh it's a mirror. Give it to me. It's fucking amazing. It's so good. It's, honestly, guys, it, once oh you get God. a mirror case, you, it's life changing. Why? Did you You're out having lunch. You can you check your teeth and there's a big piece of food in your tooth and you realize shit. Like, if you didn't have the mirror, you'd be walking around with that. I know. You should become an ambassador for this brand. <laughs> really? <laughs> Oh my god, no, really. Why are you wiping your whole face with eye makeup remover? I'm not. Oh shit, I've started using my cleansing milk and I haven't told you You're all terrible at these, like, skin makeup vlogs. Well, remember I know. When, when we used to do these makeup things, you'd continue doing the makeup and not even tell you guys what she's using. Alright, so basically, I'm using La Roche-Posay makeup remover milk for sensitive skin. I mean, I don't normally use this. I use the Aven cleansing milk, which just looks basically, the bottle looks exactly the same. Mm, and that's what I use. They're very similar brands and they're very, very similar kind of like makeup removers. It's just me and Mandy have been using Aven like since probably like 10 years. Yeah. Isn't it, haven't we? We used to use the Aven moisturiser and then it just disappeared. Remember that moisturiser? It was great. That was amazing. In the glass pot. If you can buy a moisturiser in the glass or clay, basically, like something that keeps it cold, it's the best, yeah? yeah are you still doing the half a face? No, I give up now. This is basically Why? Hard. This I hard. really wanted to I do it. it. Here. You look the same. <laughs> Wow, you know, you're making me feel so good. Thank you. You're Because you know why? You have a natural contour on your face. You're so lucky. I have a fat face. I hate my cheeks. That's not what I'm looking at, though. I'm looking at the pigmentation. Right, can I just go and wipe my whole face now? No, I really wanted to do the half on, half off. Anyway, I have I was... done it half off. What do you want me to do now? <laughs> Stay like this for the rest of the fucking night? <laughs> you look the same. <laughs> okay, I need to wipe off the rest. Anyway, yeah. As I was saying, with the podcast... 
with the podcast. It's such a Karen. <laughs> with the podcast, I realised a lot about myself. So have you? You said you realised since the podcast that you had this thing which I... I realised before that, but go on. Yeah, <laughs> I also take pictures all the time. Anyway, I realized... Do you not see yourself until you record the podcast? Like, I think do you own a mirror? No, nah, pictures aren't the same. Pictures aren't the same. Alright, since I started the podcast, I realised I talk bent to the left. Really? That's bad Botox. It's not Botox. I haven't had Botox. It's just my teeth. Have you not had Botox on your chief? No, teeth. no. I need Botox on my chin. Look. So then what is it? It's my Invisalign. I haven't finished the course. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to. I've got like a few trays left, but I'm not doing it. And then like, because it's just uncomfortable for my teeth to close on the mm. straight path, my, my body just tends to like, my jaw tends to like bend it a little bit. I used to, uh, I got Botox once on my chin by this person and they fucked it. And I swear to God, it was when I got out of Love Island. My lip fully... When yeah, but that was another remember, thing. That was a whole other thing. That was so bad, and it I, I couldn't get rid of it. I had to just live with it for right. a few months until the Botox like disappeared. And it was like I had to do stories all the time at that point. It was so I, funny. I remember it was so hard. Mine's actually. I don't think is noticeable unless like I tell someone. It's really like I try to be more careful by the way I talk. I talk more. So straight. my thing that I was going to say that I noticed is noticed since doing the podcast is I actually think that when I do less eye makeup, I look better. Yeah, I was telling you this for ages. Like, when I don't put lashes, loads of eyeshadow, loads of, like, um, mascara, all that stuff, the less I put, the better I look. I think you're just really naturally pretty. Okay, well, I've done the half on, half off thing. You look the same as well. Like, no, I'm, just, attention I'm not going to lie, man, do you? You see what it with me? I can't even I, tell. I'm just staring at you. Because of my cheeks, I need contour. I need contour because of my cheeks. She chats so much shit. Like, I look ill on this side. No, you do not. You look, <laughs> you look the same, literally. Less brown, that's it. Yeah, I'm so pale, guys. You don't know the struggle. You're so lucky you were born brown. <sighs> not really. Right. Okay, basically, yeah, even though Mandy said she used the Laura Chapeau, it's still really nice, though, no? Yeah, it is. It's the same, pretty much the same as Aven. But what I do, because you know Aven and La Roche Posay, they're quite expensive and you have to use so much of the cleansing milk to get your makeup off. I use Garnier. My cellar water. Yeah, but I don't use the sensitive skin one. I use the one for like dry skin. Depends on your skin. You use that to start off with. So basically, I use this to start off with to get most of the makeup off, and then I use the La Roche. I'm the same. Like, money's running a bit low. Yeah, like I get the micellar, and I start with the micellar. Yeah, because it's cheaper, and you know. Yeah. Because look, I don't. Can I don't you know how much of this you use? Three hundred yeah. cotton pads now. Don't mind the envir environmentalists. And look, oh my god. Nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. Nothing's coming out. Oh my god! Do? That's it. Are you joking me? I'm serious. I'm we're so serious. I did end it with my cellar water instead of beginning. It with no, myself. that's not good for your skin. Really? No. I always wash my face after anyway. Do you not? No. You don't wash your face after you do like makeup off. No. So you're there with all that cream and makeup just all over your face. I use toner. Yeah. Whatever. That's so I love my toner. She doesn't have it. I use Pixie toner. It's I gave it Pixie to you. Pixie tonic. It's like orange bottle. I love my toner. I always use toner. But I love my toner. <laughs> you know, this is rated the best toner, yeah? Well, I bet my toner is uh, rated better than your toner. Why don't you Google best toner, like, uh, ever? But if your toner's so great, then why don't you use it? I don't tone because it dries out my skin so much. It's like drying. It's like the most drying thing in the world. Like your personality. Yeah, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So this is it. It's Ren Skin and it's... What is it? Ready Steady Glow Ren. And in fact, my cousin gave this to me because it was a bit too strong on her skin. I think use my toner. It is the very quite strong. It's I think quite use my toner. burning. I think use my turn. I think you just use Amazon <laughs> if you want to turn. I don't Pixie. need to But Pixie. sometimes, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit, you know, I do turn. Look, I was with the girls the other day and they all said, wow, Anna, your skin's glowing. Your skin looks amazing. Maybe it's <laughs> AI. Why are your face Maybe we're just alive. I, I saw your face looking really AI. <laughs> Why are you As I said that, I just kind of looked over your face, you know? <laughs> Because you know what, Mandy's the one that always usually gets a skin I still compliment. do, bitch. She usually gets a skin compliment, but that day at the dining table, I was getting all the skin compliments. I think where you were sitting, the lighting was more poorly <laughs> on your face. Bullshit. Look, look at my toner, still. Look how much shit's coming out. You have to wash your face. <laughs> wash your face. Anyway, so I mean, honestly, I'm definitely washed. doing something right. Do you know what I mean? Because One day she got compliments. She's doing I always much. get compliments, to be honest. Look, I'm 30... 
I'm 32, I'm just like, how old am I? I'm 32 and I'm 33 in a few months, right? And my skin is better than most 20 something year olds. Way better. I was in the, the villa with 20 something year olds and they've got bare wrinkles. Are you gonna wipe your makeup off? I am. Well, use that fantastic mirrored case that you've got that you can ranting on about and wipe off your makeup. I told you. Because you've got some massive orange streak right now on your forehead. Because I told you I can't multitask. Yeah. And I'm doing talking. Anyway, when you do your cleansing and toning, you realise still there's so much residue, you should wash your face. That's what I do. Yeah. All right. So basically, I've been using this for years. If you look in the blog three years ago, it's still this. Same. We've been using this for like... No more. Do you know how long we've been using this? Remember, Amazing. My ex, I was 19 years old. I was 19. Who was it that recommended this? No. Remember, my ex, I was 19 years old, and he had that really hot sister, and we saw her in her bathroom. Did we? And we just See what I room. mean, man? This is how you have to live your lives. Watch them hot bitches. What are they years, using? 13 years ago. 13 fucking years we've been using this. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's working. Neutrogena and my mum said Neutrogena is a very good brand. I had acne. And yeah, I said, Anna, just use Aven and Neutrogena. But we got the, we use a wash and this is a scrub. So like... I use both. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, There's a wash. I don't... I, I just got it in my... It's in my drawer. It's Get my it. Drawer. Show no. it. Show them. God, I don't know if it is in there though. <laughs> Maybe you I'm come not. with a half... Basically finished cleanser. You, which isn't the one you use. Your cleanser's out of finish. The why? I want to explain why. I was going to say, her cleanser's out of stock. <laughs> no, she doesn't have the cleanser. No, I don't. Oh, wow. Okay, so guys, it's basically the wash version of this. Do you know why though? So because right now, I have an abundance, an abundance of samples. There are so many samples in my bathroom cabinet, and oh, I've never had so many samples in my life. And you know, sometimes you get overexcited with samples. You know, you shouldn't use too much or too much of everything because then your skin goes bad. Maybe that's why I get the compliments. But basically, I'm right just, now, my skin's popping. I use the same thing. Right now, same I've routine. got this sample of La Mer cleansing foam. And I'm not lying, yeah? It's fucking amazing, Anna. And me and you're washing your face with this. Is it? Yeah. But I wanted it to do what so we usually great. use. I know, we use Anisha Dream, we just talked about it, but I've also been using this recently. <laughs> okay? Like, <laughs> and it's also great if somebody wants to be a bit bougie. Well, just so people know, we use a Neutrogena. <laughs> Just so you know, the wash and the... We use a Neutrogena and that is enough. You don't need to go and fork out hundreds of pounds on Le Mer. What if there's some baller baller watching this? <laughs> some people, they're not baller and, they're, and they're like me and yeah, they're normal, but they actually just love like really expensive skincare. I'm just one of those people. Even when we were like making so much money, we still didn't buy Le Mer wash. It's unnecessary. I know, but Anna, I'm going to get it from now on. Oh, okay. I don't so understand. Much. Once you wash your face with Jamais Wash. Really? Yeah, it feels so nice. It's you wash so your makeup nice. so quick. Well, because I wash my face. I'm <laughs> still going. Huh? So anyway, hurry up. I'm going to turn my face after this. Oh, God. How Sorry, but this is be? my routine. I'm going to go wash my face. Wait, no, no, no. No, we're doing it together. <laughs> we're doing it it's together. It's better you keep them entertained while I wash my face. Why? I'll keep them busy while you wash yours. All right, fine. But if you want skin like mine. <laughs> Guys, let me give you a zoom in. <gasps> you know what it reminds you of right now? You know bride me. So yeah. like, <laughs> and you're my best friend because, you know, all these years. And then the other one grabs a mic. <laughs> it's like, my skin. <laughs> it's great. But I don't even know what to say to keep them entertained. We, shouldn't even, we should not even edit this, you know that? Really? No, we should just put it out right like, like this. We don't need to edit it, really. We're so amazing in every way. This is so... It actually comes really natural to us. I don't know why we didn't stick at it. Well, the question is, like, we, we, we're good at this. We, we enjoy it. But yeah, we enjoy it. Do people enjoy it? That's the question. Well, people do enjoy it. How do we know? We don't know. But I've seen some of these other really big YouTubers... Ugh, can't speak. These really big YouTubers that have, like loads of subscribers and I just went on there just to get like kind of you know Warren. like I just wanted to see what kind of things they do do so I can maybe you know get ideas and it was so boring like I couldn't believe that people actually watch their stuff like I couldn't believe it so I mean if people like that then they could like might like this or maybe they'll find us jarring I don't know but I mean if our podcast is doing so well then I'm sure all these things will do so well you know? Yeah, but we vlogged before we started the podcast. Yeah, but we didn't stick at it. 
with the podcast we were consistent we did it every single week without a miss whereas with the youtube we do it one month then nine months we didn't do, do it whereas if we're consistent with it i'm sure like we'll do really really well you know it's all about consistency when we first started our podcast the first day we had like 300 listens you know and now look we've grown so much you know should i tell them the exact amount of listen all right i'll right. save it but it's grown a lot so you know are you going to be able to keep them entertained as well as I have, Mandy? Better. Look at all that. So bad. What not to do? I honestly want a good brand to use that, like, is, you know, reusable. Because I'm still going with these cotton pads. Yeah. Well, don't worry. This, it's toner, mine. this toner is stinging my face. Yeah. Because it's got <laughs> AHA in it. So it's, like, almost like a skin peel yeah. toner, but they are actually meant to be amazing, you know? Mm-hmm. Basically, like skincare specialists say you should always use AHA and BHAs in your skincare routine. But it's really stinging. Mine doesn't hurt like this. Yeah, I know, but you're oh. meant to use some. It's like kind of like retinol type thing. It hurts so much. I feel like there was still a bit of residual or I'm like, Oi. It's just non- never ending. I'm going to go wash my face yeah. now. Don't it's get just... that Lumbaire face wash if you want to use it in your eyes, yeah? Because I accidentally went in my eye. But your hair's up, so it won't go in your eye. Because I was, like, trying to, like... All right, I'll be right back. Hair. I'm going to go use the wash now. So I normally use the Neutrogena, and just in case you yeah. missed it the third, fourth time. Mm. <laughs> I'm Anna, and my skin is so amazing and fantastic. And like, Stop being such a hater. I don't know if I want to keep you guys entertained. <laughs> like, what? This has been a very long day of talking to the camera, you know? Like, we did the podcast, and now we're doing a vlog, and we're going to keep doing vlogs. I don't know if I'll vlog. Your ideas of what you want to see on the vlog. What am I thinking for vlogs? Like, what should we do for vlogs? I've got loads of ideas. I want to do stupid shit, like a five, five pounds for the day. Like, you came up with that, right? Yeah. Five pounds for the day, and we have to only eat, like, green things. Which is really boring. Maybe if it was brown. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a separate thing. So one day is what? This is the Le Mer wash. What do you think, Anna? So nice. It's just something it smells else. so good as well. It smells and like it, a baby powder. It feels like you're diving into, like, the holy water. And, like, uh, how amazing is that? Tell yeah. me. It's really fun, fucking fantastic, isn't it's it? It's a bit dirty, though. It feels like it's a bit, you know, sexual. Why are you coming around me in the sexual vibes? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, get away. Go. Shoot. <laughs> um... No, one day we do, day, spend a day, live a day on five pound, and then another day we can only eat green things. Or can we not do the green? Orange things. Yeah, because green is just literally going to be healthy stuff only. At least we're going to do something hard, let's enjoy it. Brown things, chocolates, hot dogs, beef burgers. <laughs> beef burger? Yeah. In a brown bread. Yeah. Okay, basically, that day we can eat whatever we fucking want. So maybe we should make it hard for ourselves. Like yeah, pink purple, things. purple. Purple. Over jeans. Over jeans isn't purple, you dick. It is on the outside. It's not purple. Purple. Over jeans are purple on the outside. We cook them with the skin on. No. Yeah. No. What else is purple? We're going to starve. Grapes. Huh? Grapes. That's Grapes. Not purple. That's black. No, they're not. They are purple grapes. They're different shades, right? No, Alright, you know what? Why don't we just, like, eat a rainbow, huh? And we'll be hungry the whole I'm day. I'm going to towel. It's there, that, gr- that grey one hanging up. The little one, I put it there. Are you sure it's gingerbread didn't wipe his no, ass? No, I know, for a fact. 100%. Are you sure yeah. I'm not wiping my face with gingerbread's ass? No, and if trust me, you'd smell it if it was his ass being cleaned clean that towel. It would smell like absolute shit. Mandy, <laughs> I heard you. Yeah. Basically, Kalsnick told me that yesterday when you guys went to Westfield, what? he said that you, you guys went into Apple to buy an Apple Watch, yeah? And that gingerbread, it was you, gingerbread, and the woman in Apple. Yeah. And apparently, there was he, this egg fart. <laughs> whiffed us away and I know it ain't me and I know this apple lady is not busting farts like that <laughs> and apparently so you just walked away I look, walked away I was like did you bid? he was like it, was, it wasn't me I was like was it you he was like what, no. in front of the woman yeah in front of her yeah but she couldn't really hear because I was like, like and then he went bright red yeah like completely red no way yeah 
he was messaging Cowsley from like Westfield saying, I'm busting farts every 10 steps. Like I'm just passing people and just busting farts. Yeah. What is wrong with it? Um, Cowsley just can't stop laughing when he is. He's <laughs> 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 like, so funny. <laughs> he's so funny. His jokes in so it. His jokes, that kid jokes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's the opposite, isn't it, of Kazik? Yeah, it's, they're yeah. all upstairs right now. Like, oh, well, we should take the camera to show them. Yeah, maybe. We? Yeah, at the end, what? Should we go now? You go. Why? Why don't you want to go? I don't know. Why are you being really weird? <laughs> Why are you giving bare like awkward energy right now? <gasps> I don't know. Fuck him. Fuck him. Have you had an argument? No. Okay. <laughs> I just don't know actually about like I don't even know about one of the ginger beer out there, you know. I'm still contemplating. You already have put him out there. On my TikTok. Yeah. Ages ago. And I deleted most of the videos. Yeah, but it's still been out there. Yeah, but we've got so many new people now, yeah? We're on some other level now. We're on some new level now. Please. Okay, we won't show you the boys. But they're anyway. boring anyway, they're sitting there like Yeah, they're sitting there all like there's four of them just sitting there watching football. Yeah, really boring. So annoying. But anyway, um, right, so after we wash, I, I need face. to quickly put a bit of water on my face again. Why? Because I just went in with that stinging toner. I don't know why again, because I was bored. Wait, coming back. Yeah, so basically, it's so funny because Kowzik's the opposite of Gingerbread in terms of like farting and pooing and stuff like that. Like, he, I've never heard him fart ever. If I say, like, if he goes to the toilet to do a wee, he'll run the tap. That's how extra he is. God, when I first met um, Gingerbeard, it didn't take long for him to like actually shit with the door open. He shit with the door open when I'm in the, in the yeah. corridor or in the house. He literally, you know he says our old flat, yeah? You know that toilet in our old flat? He says it's one of his favourite toilets he's ever been in. Which toilet? He misses it all the time shitting in it. Which one? The, just the one we just left? Yeah. The upstairs? Yeah. Why? He says he loved it. It's one of his favourite toilets ever. To shit in? Yeah. But what? You how does it... How does a toilet become your favourite toilet to shit in? You have favourite toilets. <laughs> I, like, I've got two toilets in my flat and I don't have a favourite toilet to go to the toilet in. You, everyone must have, do like... What? No, not here. Do you prefer it here or upstairs one? But I do prefer my last flat toilet. There was something about that toilet. You never used that toilet. You wouldn't know. It had an energy to it. A zen. Really? Yeah. I guess some toilets can be nicer. Do you like this toilet more or do you like the upstairs one? I feel like the upstairs one. If I'm home alone, definitely the upstairs. It's mm. a nicer vibe. This toilet's horrible, I hate it. Yeah. It's freezing cold all the time. And for some like, reason. Why are we talking about toilet? It's so every time Gingerbread showers, it's a tsunami in there. Like he, it's like he comes out like sliding through the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, how is there so much water? Okay, anyway. It's wow, we've literally now. gone off like the topic right now. So now it's time to moisturise. Oh, where's all the cotton pads? The dirty ones. I threw them in the bin. Good, good girl. Good girl. girl. I'm clean girl. So we use, and I was like, why? People don't want to go and spend their fortune. Okay. But this is the only thing I've spent a lot of money on because it's worth every penny. So la mer moisturizing cream. Look, for a while I was trying to save, so I stopped buying it. Like literally for six months, I stopped buying it, and my skin was getting really bad. And then I just bought it again, like three months ago. And since using it again, I can just feel like the difference. It's mm -hmm. just amazing, amazing. And this is the. Can I just say, please? It's the moisturizing cream, but the intense. Oh, the cream it. regeneration, intense, 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 intense. It's amazing. But very dry skin. I got the big one, yeah. It's nearly finished. Baller move. Well, Gingerbread got it. Okay, so guys, you know, well, don't put your finger uh, in it. No, there's like, he puts his finger in it. It's so okay, rough. you should never put your finger in any tub of moisturizer. It's not good because you transfer bacteria into the tub. And I it do grows. it after a shower, though. Yeah, but you shouldn't really even then. Yeah. You should always use a clean cotton bud. Do you want to show them? What? The butt. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get that butt as nasty as <coughs> It was like a hair towel. Okay. Um, here it is. And here's the cotton <laughs> bud. And what you do is you stick it in the hole and you take out the juice. Mandy, why do you make it sexual? <laughs> Taking out. Give me a give me. clump here. Do you, would you like this? Why is there so much hair? It's from the cotton bud. Why is your cotton bud so hairy? It's very hairy, Mary. <laughs> why? Why are, you, why are you doing that? 
I want it. Okay, well, I'm going to take my own scoop out then. This is now it's my turn. You know, apparently the guy in Le Maire, he said that you should put it on your hands first. And rub it together and then press it and I just get fuck do, off. I never do that. Though. Every time I do it, I feel shit afterwards. Yeah, I never do that. I just go straight onto my face. But every time I do that, I feel like I need to take another lump out. Yeah, because it goes into your hands. Right? Exactly. It, it goes into your hands. I'm moisturising your hands. I don't do that you shit. You should really go like that. Do you want a little bit more? Because I went a bit over the top. Do you want a little bit more? I've got enough, but I mean, the more, the better. Yeah, I like, you know what they say, don't neglect the neck. There's a girl I know, I, I used know, but to I, know. I haven't washed my neck properly. And she had lots of wrinkles on her neck. And she was like, I made the biggest, biggest mistake by not moisturising my neck. Yeah, so skincare tips, right? And loads of water. You know, you should moisturise it always going up. <coughs> yeah, you should moisturise up. I already said that. Did you? Yeah. You see, I haven't given all the good tips. I was the skincare guru um, out of me and you. I'm the one who put us onto this shit. Well, I, I've just taken over, darling. Didn't I? I got all the compliments the other day. Oh, one day. <laughs> anyway, guys, skincare tips. Loads of water. Me and Mandy, like, you'll never cut, catch us without a bottle of water in our hands. Yeah, I've been really bad We always day. have, like, a big bottle of water in our hands. Do we not? Yeah. And that's why we piss so much throughout the night, because we drink water throughout the night. I'm a pissing machine. Yeah. Um... Also, Mandy always says SPF. I'm really bad with that. Me really too, bad. Man, but you should always wear SPF during the day, even if it's in the house and the windows are like facing you, because it's the UV light that's going to be the number one cause of aging mm -hmm. in your life. Yeah. So, do you know what an SPF that I really like? But it's only SPF 15. Is that enough? Yeah, for the UK, it's enough. When you go away. Okay. So my favorite SPF. Face cream is the Elizabeth Arden Day Cream. SPF I put cream. you onto that as well. Yes, so yeah. nice. Like it feels. She's like so everything's nice. so nice. Everything's so nice. Is that you? No, yeah. I, you didn't put me onto it. Someone just left it in my house. I ordered it online, and I really. Yeah, the first time I took a massive risk. Honestly, I love that one. Actually, I didn't take a risk because I tried a sample in the shop first, and then I bought it, and then I, I gave you one. Oh. Okay, well, I just found it in my house, and I was like, "This is great," and I finished it. And I need to buy a new one. It's me too. That's the only issue. Very, very little comes in there. But it's a great... But it's amazing, yeah. Okay, so eye cream. This is the eye cream I use. I use the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment Avocado with avocado. Yeah. Um, can you give me a cotton bud? Yes, so we're all right, bossy. <laughs> and, you know, I met a girl in Harvey Nichols. I've got some to this as well. Because of this girl in Harvey Nichols. <laughs> and she says, I'm a Karen. But honestly, I did, though. I've got some to all of these. And she... Yeah, and I'll tell you something else after. It's because when I was like to Harvey Nichols, the late girl, some amazingly pretty girl, said to me, I was like, what do you use? And she said to me, I use my whole face cream is Kiehl's Avocado Eye Cream. Her she, whole face yeah. cream? Yeah. So, so I went and straight away, because this girl was so pretty, I went and bought the avocado eye cream, yeah? Mm. And then I started using it on my whole face as well. Mandy, oh, well. your cotton buds are so hairy. I know. Look at them. Oh, you can't see. They're like super hairy. Do you know why? Because I keep them next to these. Oh. Spoolies. And it just roughens them up. Um, so yeah. Another thing that we do which has changed our life is we drink Skinaid. I think we've mentioned this before in our life-changing YouTube video. But um, Skinaid is it's like a, a collagen a, drink. Yeah. And it's like ready-made to keep it in your fridge. And listen, I actually have like phobia of like not having skin aid in my life. No. So basically, before Love Island, we used to buy them. They are a little bit pricey, I'm not going to lie. But then, this is the good, the great thing about coming out of Love I Island. also discovered skin aid. <laughs> <laughs> this is the great... <laughs> I was just wait. I was literally waiting for her to say that. <laughs> These are the great things that, about coming out of the villa. Like, um, we get skin aid for free. I know. Oh, it's amazing. Um, but, but honestly, we used to pay for it. So it is worth buying, honestly. Yeah, we did. Um, Mandy, I finished. Can you message them for some more? I know. I Because I message them also. I get really shy. Me too. But it's I, such I, an I, always weird thing being an influencer and asking a brand for like a free thing. But I always, always like promote them. So and do I, I. And I'm not promoting them just because I'm promoting them. Well, I do promote them because they give me, but I'm asking them to give me. I'm literally asking them. Because I love it so much, so I'm telling people the truth. That's the thing, you know, when you see influencers put like gifting, that means a lot. Yeah. Because we actually have to reach out to the brand and we have to say, like, you know, can you please give us this? Yeah. So it means we love it even more. And anything. also because we love sharing things as well on our platform that we love. Yeah. So it makes sense being gifted for it because at the end of the day, it's our job as well, you know? But um, yeah, for lips, Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden AR cream, I'll bring it for you now. I use it, I sleep with it on. Me too. If I don't put it on, like, honestly, my lips are really dry. 
I don't know if you know about Elizabeth Art and the Eight Hour Queen, but if you don't, I don't know where the hell you've been in your whole life. Um, and Anna's Harry... ex-boyfriend's mum had the most amazing skin. Sure. And do the little thing. Oh. <laughs> Elizabeth Eight Hour Cream. Anna's ex-boyfriend's mum had the most amazing skin, and she was like what fifty something. Mm -hmm. And she used to basically sleep on silk pillowcases, and she used to put this all over her face all night and sleep a bit. Um, but she, only, she put it all over yeah. her face. Her skin was unbelievable. But she, it's really thick and sticky. Like you can probably tell now. It's, it's quite uncomfortable. To it's sleep quite with uncomfortable. Because I have slept with it before. It's not cooling and refreshing. It's more like a treatment balm almost. Imagine it like that. If you've got a burn or a scab, it will get rid of it. I'm not joking. In 24 hours, a it's burn or a scab. Like when I say burn, I mean anything scabbed over. It's literally like a miracle treatment. Um, but I have slept with it at night before. Have you? I do wake up with yeah, an amazing, amazing skin. skin, but it's just a bit uncomfortable to sleep with. Also, if you, Prince Harry mentioned this in his book. Yeah, you know, about Princess Diana like, using it. My, what did he call it? His penis. He said he put it on his penis. Yeah, some weird, his, not some weird. Trotter or some shit. My trotter, trotter. So it says, um, you can choose it anyhow you like. Shape brows, soothe dry hands, mm. smooth cuticles and nails. Also, for symptoms of chapping, peeling, flaking, due to minor burns, sunburn, windburns, scrapes, abrasions, cracked lips, literally anything you use as much as you want. And it was voted like the number one skincare product in the world at one point. I can't never not have eight hour cream in my house. Me too. Ever. It's like the best. It's great ever. for under eyes as well. If you've got dry under eyes, put it on and sleep, sleep with it. Really? Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I think. Anyway. We'll it now. Yeah, guys, we hope you enjoyed our. What do you call it? Our skincare um, vlog. Let's We're try. vlogging. Oh wow, we look really glowy. Can mm -hmm. you believe that I am 32 and she's 30? I don't know how old I am. Man. I'm 31, you idiot. Are you? Yeah. You got a lash, man. You make a wish. <gasps> you wish for us to be super, super rich. Yeah, please, so we can have loads of like more skincare products. Oh wow, our skin actually looks amazing though. Yeah. For our age. Is, like, I just don't like my dark circles. So nothing I can do. Other than that, anyway, guys, everything's flawless. We will be back. Write in the comments all the things that you'd like to see from us. We love you. We love you. Bye.